it's also the nine. Like we now get into these patterns and systems because I feel the nine also loves systems. And then hearing you that and me knowing the human design, I go like, yeah, but that's that's exactly that gate. That's the trait of these gates. And that correlates then with the, with the astrology and then seeing there the pattern in, you know. So I love these conversations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd, lo I'd love to try to find a way to come back around whenever the 64 is up again, because that's in my, my design, my son in the design side, because yeah. yeah. I'm sure that'll be fascinating. I, I, I think I've read about that, but um, it's always fun to be able to read other people's experiences or really understand how other people have experienced that same energy and yeah. apply it in a different way. I'm so glad to hear that because that's exactly why this idea of starting the archetype Akasha felt for me. It was really something that came really out of my soul, exactly for the reason that you are sharing right now, I, that I wanted to hear and share with the world the experiences of all these archetypes inside of every one of us, because it it gives together with all the other archetypes, it just gives all these different flavors. And again, when we hear each other talk about sharing about it, we get this broader perspective and acceptance of the self, acceptance of the other, and really getting to know the pattern even, <laughs> the pattern of the it, archetypes. It really helps me to understand my fiance that much better because me being a truth seeker and him saying, well, I don't care what the truth is. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like he just turned into a toad on the spot. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you care about the truth? Why wouldn't you want me to teach you, tell you how the best way to do something is? I know I'd rather know the best way to do something from the very start. And seeing what that he's a three, six and reading into that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Okay.